All right. Good morning and thank you for keeping us company. If you started with us in the morning, but in case you're just joining us, you are just in time for the social hour as we get to just talk about issues that are lighter but very pivotal to you and I. It is all about love. It's all about being a social, a better social being. And this particular morning, we want to talk about something that I know, you know, probably you or somebody you know or somebody that is related to somebody you know. <laughs> like I'm going to continue with that particular uh, trend but then again it is um, all about trust and moving on if somebody has betrayed your trust that actually is usually the biggest challenge because in character development what we on a town eh? I want us to talk about that and I told you we will be a full house this particular week and my panelists are here all of us all of us and Lady Josh Umetutesa <laughs> QT Umetutesa the last one week at oh, was, was I alone Umeona your mambo daily it's <laughs> birthday week lazima hey. tusumbue tosemaga e life you only have one life to live and you have to live it to the fullest afin ujui about kesho no one knows about to Tomorrow, to cook a bus, see water, and kill him to a shuka. Cook a bus at some point. Hey, like bus I'm ready in my words of wisdom. I'm ready wisdom. Zanzibar, I'm ready wisdom. Yeah? I'm ready with wisdom. <laughs> but in Medjibamba, I give thanks for uh -huh. another year. It's another, you know, another new Happy chapter in my life. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Safi. Thank you. And somebody else who celebrated her birthday recently. Yeah. People just disappear and come older, a year older. When I get to QT, I post, I think, Jana, you mm. about romanticizing your life. Uh -huh. like, Usingoje usifikirie happiness ama hizi vitu hizi feelings poa ukuja uki, yeah. uki achieve kitu ama ukifika some place you have to be very intentional every day with making your life the best it can be like mm -hmm. every every single day mm -hmm. so yeah you could could be very very intentional <laughs> taking a break taking uh, some time to rest it mm. has to be very intentional and you come back lighter Happier. Happier, looking yeah. good. <laughs> and thank you for, you know, just creating time. Mina CJ to make what too happen. You know, holding it down. And <laughs> hopefully, yet was easy to tap out our chance of we are very, disappearing. We are very you. trustworthy. Yeah, we are, we are very committed. Yeah. Loyal. Yeah. Exactly. And oh that is what we want to talk about. <laughs> Commitment and trust, being trustworthy. You know, that's something that is very, very, very difficult. But then again, um, let's begin from... That, that particular point, CJ. Yeah. When we talk about being trustworthy, when you talk about this very important word, trust, what are we looking at? I think you cannot have trust without truth. So uh, the level of trust that anybody would have in you depends on the level of truth that they get from you, mm -hmm. whether that truth is palatable to them or not. But at least that's what they get. Because what truth does, it brings dependability on information, like I don't have to counter check uh, what you have said. So if you told me that you messed up with the money, that's truth. <clears throat> the truth may not be what you want to hear, but it is the truth. So what it does is it makes you become somebody who's reliable when it comes to information. Like I don't have to check somewhere else and find out whether what you said was the truth. Mm -hmm. Um, and so the reason why we have challenges around trust is because we are having challenges around speaking the truth. And that's also because um, people are very careful about <laughs> stakes that they have in relationships. One of the things that relationships suffer from is that high stake, because I know that there will be repercussions to any action and words that I've spoken. And sometimes if I really want to have this relationship for the benefits that I get, I may not speak the truth. So I may be here because there are certain things that I get from this particular place. And then I'm somewhere else for other benefits as well. And I know that if I speak the truth here, I will lose. It's not the relationship they're afraid of losing. Mm -hmm. It is the benefits. Mm -hmm. So that then compromises truth. And when that truth is compromised, eventually trust will be compromised. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Roberta, do you think it's as easy as, as, as CJ is making it sound to <laughs> really give yourself, especially in this era that we live in, and really trust completely without, could you play safe? Let me use that because that is what people would relate to. Do you think today in this modern generation, 
we can actually exist in that space and, 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 and survive? Well, that's unfortunately, I'm unfortunately, that's the only way to receive love and to experience love mm -hmm. and to experience truth and trust. You have to, you have to be able to give what you want to take because that's the only way you'll ever feel trust. Like if you don't trust people, if you're naturally, if you're not a trustful person, you don't trust people, you will probably never get to experience trust. So it's, you asked, is it difficult? It is very difficult. It's growth is one of the hardest things that I have had to do for myself, for my life. Just making decisions. Come easy two weeks. You don't to work out. Like, you checking in my cutie. Jana niliona kipana warm up. I was like, where? So meaning I have to get back there. You see, but when you to see Jame Sema, you have to have truth for you to experience trust. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of doubt, a lot of pain, a lot of failure, a lot of getting betrayed, a lot of, but it's through such experiences that you get to learn the value of this trust. It is through lack of trust and consistently uh, being in a situation where you're being tested if, are you as trustworthy as you, mm. as you say you are? Like, are you the things you say you are? Are you willing to meet yourself at the standards that you've set for other people. Because if you're not then, like I said, you're not going to experience the trust. And it's not, like I said, it's not easy. Anything that needs you to grow and to change and to improve your habits, it takes a lot of emotional, physical, it takes a lot of will. You literally have to talk to yourself. Lazima, inakanga tu raisi ati, ah, see me, trust me. No, no, it's not just the words, it's, do you really, really trust? Are you able to get into relationships with people, even just platonic relationships, and not have the backhanded <coughs> fear of this person might betray me? Because if you live like that in fear, then you'll always be looking over your shoulder. You'll always <coughs> be afraid. You'll not be able to give the trust. And you see, the thing with energy is, okay, fear. The people who are around you just start being like you. Like you just start mm. attracting people who are are on your wavelength, are on your frequency. They they trust you. So it makes it a bit easier. And what how this happens is it's because you'll be able to notice anything that is not your standard. Kama wewe unataka trust, na wo trust wase. When someone is being fishy, you'll be able to tell, like, mm, I don't feel very comfortable. And I like what CJ said. He he kind of he kind of made it uh, <coughs> like a binary thing, like hakuna gray areas. It's either kuna trust, ama na hakuna. truth, ama hakuna. Right. And koyo gray area, while you can work on it, you just have to reach like the part where enyewe, I'm ready and I want to do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then, is it um, <coughs> internal? Is it just about me trusting? I'm a peer. The other person has to play a part. Let's just be honest. Because <laughs> to me, it's Mara mob, mbona uni trust, mm. honey trust, yeah. ni trust. <laughs> you have to say or show. <laughs> eh, mtu wana complain hati hao mtrust. <laughs> ni fault yako ama ni fault yake? Uh, first of all, <laughs> trust is a two-way traffic. Uh -huh. Lazima ni kutrust na lazima we uni trust. Eh? And I have to say this, like trust has to come. Well, lazima, we mwenye kwanza lazima uji trust. Because kuna wale watu pia wajiamini. Ngi ushe sikia mtu wamekuliza. Kwani ujiamini, kwani uji trust. Izo mtu unasema, kwani we mwenye uzi believe. So you also need to trust yourself first. It has to come from within. Once umejiamini, no meji trust, you will be able to also portray that to the other person. And I keep saying this, imagine what you're feeling, your instincts, usiwai, never ever push them back. Like usiseme ati, oh, I, I think I'm wrong. Imagine instincts, Zako, they're always right. When you're with someone, you always know when something is wrong. Even sometimes you might be sitting down and then your mom calls you and you're like, by the way, why did you, you know, she's like, it's like she felt something is ha that really happening time. with you. Uh -huh. And then you're like, by the way, mom, I'm not feeling okay. I'm, I'm going through this. Like these things, kuna connection. There's a connection. There's just something about your instincts, about your feelings, and all this. So trust has to come from within, first of all. And the other person, hey, me by this, you could trust. There's a reason why. And trust has to be actions and words. Words, lazima zenda nishan and actions. They, they say, don't really trust words that people tell. I can be telling you here, oh, by the way, I love you. By the way, I do this, I do A, B, C, D. But your actions really speak for you. For me, I believe that actions come first before words. Before you tell me that I should trust you, before 
what are your actions? What are you doing to make me trust you? What is the okay. process mm -hmm. that you're taking me through to actually trust you? So it's really about the actions. Words are just mere things. We all say something. Hata Safin says, hey, but there's Safin unakapua. Seriously, mm -hmm. you know, you are where you but do I really mean what I say? And do you really trust me for that? So, ni actions, venye na jibeba reaction yangu, neza read reaction yangu, kama vile bobi ya mingia tu meka prumkambia. I think I'm a filio energy, yeah. na vile mesema, it's about really energies sometimes. Mm -hmm. Someone might be telling you something, but your energy inakata inakwambia pana, umse akwambi ukweli, and you really know the truth. As much as we brush off, Never brush off your instincts. Mm -hmm. Your instincts are always right. That is something I really stand for. And you really know. Ile tu unasema, bethe umse afanyi hivi, hachit, ama jana aku nidanganya. Imagine kenya unafeel. Always trust your instincts, trust yourself, and trust what you feel. That means then you have to be really in touch yes, with, yourself with yourself for you to be able to discern what to trust and what not to trust. Because mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's just with you, it's, with it's, your it's, inner it's self. It's you mm -hmm. to make that judgment. So yes. that means you really have to be in touch with yourself, what uh, Roberta always says here. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about those actions, CJ, because um, she's saying, you know, the, the mere words that you need to trust me or, or, or trust me is not enough. <clears throat> actions should accompany that phrase, trust me. What are these actions that we can say portray this big word, trust? Well, you see, even just listening to Kitty come back to the thing of truth, because she said somebody could tell you you're looking good, but do they mean it? So what you're I hope actually she means it <laughs> <laughs> so what you're actually trying to judge is is there truth to the statement that she's speaking? Yeah. Um, so outside of truth, there'll never be trust. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about truth is that you don't have to have any memory. You know what you say is what you'll keep on saying no matter what it is. Huh? So that consistency, that consistency helps the other person to trust you because your story doesn't change. It is the same. So if I said I wasn't, it's true. it is true. So it doesn't have to change. You don't have to spice it because trust is built over time. And one of those things now is that consistency. Consistency that even if I check with you over time, you're still saying the same thing. Not because you've mastered it, but because that is the truth. Um, the element of communication one of the reasons why people will struggle to trust each other is the absence of communication or ineffective communication or broken down communication. I may not even be doing something that is wrong, but then I've not communicated. Mm -hmm. You see, you can't relate with somebody else without opening up space into your life. That for them to see this truth, you've got to portray it. So you need to give some info. This is why people have got to have some ground rules. Because again, in different spaces, it will be different. Maybe for QT, she would love to know where the person is. <coughs> Maybe Bobby doesn't care. Mm -hmm. So you can't use the rules that um, you had with Bobby to come to QT and feel like, okay, well, Bobby doesn't care even if I don't communicate till the next day. Um, there may be reasons why she has built herself like that. Sometimes it's actually people protecting themselves mm -hmm. from getting hurt. Maybe they've gone through some trauma, so they don't even wanna know which is not even a good place. Yeah. It's but not a good don't place. Know what to <laughs> yeah, it's not a good place because it means this person has not completely given themselves to you. Mm -hmm. They are literally protecting themselves to you, from you rather. But if, if you know that Kitty wants to know where you are, not necessarily that she's trying to monitor you, she just wants to know out of concern, then you need to communicate that. Say, today I'm coming home late. Um, I'm out with these people. I'm in this place, so I'll see you later. Now, once you've done that, if you don't have to communicate after every 10 minutes or something because you've given the information that this person needs to know at least for that particular point. They'll know you're still at this place at this time. And it's, it better be the truth. Not, I am on Dennis Sprit, and then your friend puts up a selfie and you guys are in Kiambu, you know? <laughs> <laughs> there may be nothing wrong you're doing, yes. but now you have raised issues to the veracity of the things that you say. Mm -hmm. So now everything else you say gets doubted, which is why it is important again to go back to that element of truth, <coughs> that just speak the truth. <laughs> And sometimes, if you really don't know how to speak the truth, probably you need to keep quiet, but don't lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but communication is important. Consistency <coughs> is important. Commitment, Safin. If we're gonna build trust in anything, there must be the commitment to build that. We don't just come in trusting each other. 
especially when the stakes are high, mm -hmm. because it depends on what we have experienced. Some people, even just within their families, you know, the thing Kitty was talking about, whether you even trust yourself, the people who have been made to second guess themselves their entire life. Anything they said was criticized. Everything about them was pulled down. Any idea they brought in, people would shut them down. So as they grow, they don't even have confidence. Mm -hmm. Then they will begin looking for acceptability. And in doing that, sometimes they say what they feel the other person wants to hear. Mm -hmm. So when you bring in this person in here, if you're not committed to them and to their growth and to understanding where they're coming from, then you may not get the best version of them. And they also, if they're not committed to growing and getting to the place where they can do things differently, no matter their background, no matter what they've experienced before, if they're not committed to the growth and the change, the intentionality Bobby's talking about, then they will never become trustworthy. And they can blame their background forever. But you see, uh, everybody comes from somewhere. We all learn along the way how to do certain things. Mm -hmm. So I think that consistency, communication, commitment are very, very vital things in building trust. Yeah, yeah. One thing I've learned from what you've said there about truth is Truth is a bit easy than, than lying. You know, if you lie, you constantly have to remind yourself what, what you said last time yeah. so that you say it again the yeah. exact same way you said it. But if you said the truth, then you just remember what happened and say it as it is, because mm. that is exactly what happened. Usisembe ulikuwa conference, then unakuja tena unasembe ulikuwa umeenda sijui arusi, then again unasema, you know, like, it, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Just say the truth. It's easier that way. Let's talk about now what, um, you know, sometimes becomes very tricky as well. You've trusted, you've given your all into a relationship, for instance, and mutuaka kwanyesha character development. I was I was I was just looking at something that has been trending online for a better part of of, of last week. A, a guy who was so much in love met a lady. Um, they were planning, you know, to settle down, and everything was going on well. But then again, at the very advanced stages of these plans, you know, you've gone to the parents, you've shown uh, this is the person I want to marry. This is the this is the love of my life. This is it. This is it. <laughs> you know? Vitu zinaenda vizuri. Maybe kuna WhatsApp groups zimetengenezwa. People are praying for you. Plants zimeanza. But then you discover kumbe the love of your life has a love of her life as well. And then this guy says it's not the first time. Like it's, it's actually happened. I can't, I don't know whether it's twice or thrice or, but... Actually, he's just saying, this is not the first time this lady is doing this. But at this stage of a relationship, Roberta, you know, kuna vitu I'm not saying cheating is allowed, but at least kuna ile time you're still trying to, to choose who, but kuna ile stage a relationship in Afrika, I mean, other things cannot be tolerated. But then again, what do you think about that particular scenario? We are here encouraging people to trust. So what does this brother do? <laughs> No. Okay, personal opinion. But <laughs> you know, well, you want to trust. You can't get married to somebody you don't trust. Yes, you can't. So this person you want to trust, I'm going to character development. Mara si moja. Eh, yo, 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 sawa. Yo, sawa, kabisa, uko sawa, uko sawa. Yeah? You see, the thing with human beings is, I don't, I don't want to put in the notion that Mtu haizi change, ama mtu haizi improve, na haizi kwa better. But most times, it's how someone does one thing is how they do everything. Mm -hmm. So after before they cheat, you can normally see these things in other things they do. You can normally see in how they, uh, how they're accountable to their family, how they're accountable to their friends, how they communicate with you, how they they treat you, how they... So if you're keen, it doesn't even have to get to the cheating. But say it gets to the place where someone is cheating on you. I take that very, very seriously because mm -hmm. I feel like that's not someone you can do business with. Yeah. That's not someone you can make important plans with. That's not someone you can have kids with intentionally mm -hmm. that's someone you can't you can't really make solid plans with them and i'm not saying kumbuka ni mpenda disclaimer improve like ni nasema before we make your commitment kuna two signs unaonanga za how people are as how they show up in their day to day lives and i mean yes people pretend people lie people manipulate people do all these things that's why i feel like 
I always bring back the responsibility to self because lit that's the hack. Like that's the <coughs> easiest way to see anything. If you are very intentional with your own growth, if you're very intentional with the kind of standards and boundaries you set for yourself, kuna vitu tu huwezi tolerate juu mwenye uji treat ivo. So huwezi treat mtu ivo. While you can show them grace and understanding and patience and kindness, you really don't have to stay in such a situation. You don't have to keep yourself there because oh we have to do what but we've already told people mm. the announcement has already been made in church if your mental health is and you know we don't talk about like the effects of heartbreak on on the human <coughs> body people actually pass on from being heartbroken people go into depression from um from betrayal people get sick physically Unajua kama usha go through heartbreak unajua ina umanga kwa heart na ina umanga kichwa but you physically get sick. So I think someone who has the someone who's okay doing that to someone else they're just okay whether the lie is a white lie a big lie <coughs> or it's actual cheating whatever the boundaries you set for yourself in the relationship. I think someone who goes out in with the intent to hurt you because not protecting you but your protection in akwanga ku protect peer um not just physically also emotionally psychologically the people around you the people who say they love you they will always intentionally without even knowing like they don't they don't do it at with knowing it's just something you do when you love someone you want to protect them you want to take care of them you want to make sure they're mm -hmm. fine uh you want to make sure they're happy because that's the that those are the, exactly the things you do for yourself oh. so ikifika hiyo point yenye msia me cheat na shai cheat before na umona signs i think there you're able to make mm. your decision easier <coughs> even if you're in a limbo with limerance like you're not sure i think ukiona kama mtu anafanya nga hivyo vitu unajua sawa inakuwa the bigger picture like you guys what's your plans together even if you get married are you guys going to own a home mm -hmm. you'll own a home with someone you don't trust are you guys going to uh talk about your finances will you really really do that with someone you can't trust with your you can't trust them with your body you can't trust them to keep you healthy you trust them with your money you trust them around your kids so it will trickle down to this other Everything, important in, aspects of life i even saw i saw this uh video of this guy he was talking about how um he cannot do business with men who cheat on their wives He's a married man and he was saying he was saying it looks like people do it people are always like ah that's none of my business it's you know that's his marriage that's his business but you can't do business with such a person it will it will um whatever they're doing in their other relationships it will always be projected even in their business mm -hmm. how they act at home how they act with their money how they act with their friends it will always show up in other relationships <coughs> even with their moms and that's why i say when you're able to work on yourself actively Easy vitu unazi noticing you ta notice eh hey, spend even a safina mongelesha kiti mm. kumanisha safin sim tunataka kukwa around mm. you don't have to wait for it to happen to you for you to be able to make the conscious decision but if you're working on yourself you spot these things easier at a red flag confused <laughs> you can always yeah. throw it around your friends i always right. tell especially women if you're dating someone make sure your friends know talk about them tell us about tell us about him so that we can hear the stories sometimes ka we mwenye how to pick up mimi naweza kuuliza eh QT for real alikufukuza kutoka kwa uba really wewe utaona i ah, it was jokes but maybe i could be able mm. to tell you yeah, i don't like how important. that happened that's yeah. important yeah mm. Hapo ni tricky kwa kuongea kuhusu mpoa wako. Wengine wanaweza ku anyway, cute. I I don't I, like I have a problem with, you know, somebody who ha, you are, you have you've demonstrated a character of cheating before. It's actually like it's sort of like part of you. What do you think about that example that I have cited because I want I want us to talk about helping such a person like the man now mm -hmm. to move from that kind of a betrayal that is betrayal of the highest order ni kama ile ya kuulizwa nani anapinga hii ndoa mtu ainue mkono wa sisi sijui niko na watoto wake watu you know that kind of eh that kind of betrayal that is betrayal of the highest order what is your opinion about this 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 one i'll have to put my personal opinion because i really i think we've talked about this on this show like what i wouldn't forgive personally as qt i cannot forgive cheating i know people say you know people change yes i know that people change but for me the cheating is where i draw the line because safin when someone cheats 
I feel personally, I feel like they're gonna do it again. First, because you forgave that, you tolerated that behavior. So I feel like you're setting the standards of how this person is going to treat you. Even when you're meeting someone, when you're dating someone, you are the one who sets the, the standards. It's not that person, mm -hmm. you are setting the standards. If they will respect you, if they will love you, how they will treat you, what you tolerate is very important when you're starting to date someone. Mm. And that's why I have trust issues because Safin people, nowadays people take advantage of people. They any squeezy relationships, strong to kweli. Squeezy relationships, nipe ni kupe. Una get like, we, una nipe nini hapa? Mina kupatia nini. Iyo ndiyo reality watu wataki kuongea. Like it's a contract but to sign literally. Mm -hmm. But ni aze uneza nifanya nini, mineza kufanya nini. I know, but it's a sad truth. It's something that we really have to talk about. So for me, your situation, and your boy Alisema, he said, I forgave her, she cheated the first time, I forgave her, wow. You have a good heart, I, am, I, I blow you for heart. that. And yeah, you have a golden heart because... Golden heart. Alafu, there's something, what I wanted to say, kuna iyo energy. There's a way when someone comes to ask for forgiveness, I don't know how, but there's a way you might be able to pick if they are really genuine or if they are not. Kuna wale watu wamezoea, anenda nafanya kitu anakuja, Atairudia tu kesho, same thing. You remember the guest we had? Yana kwambia tu, oh, mtu aliapologize jana. Ataifanya tu the same thing tomorrow. Kesho, kesho kutuwa tena pole, babe. Akupeleke na fly, tuwapia kuletea flowers, kofisi. Atairudia the same thing. That is why I'm saying it's you. You tolerate that behavior in the hope that, and we are human. I'm hoping, I love this man. Enye kiukweli tu, I'm just hoping and praying, nambia God, please change this man for me. I really love him. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. But ye mwenyewe, anataka kuchange kweli. Ye ye mwenyewe ni nini na go through kichwa yake na hati yake. So, easy trust issues. I think you can really pick the energies. First of all, if someone is really genuine, akikuja kwa apologize see me i think kuneza jua kama wewe msia kwa genuine na mako not whether you make that decision to forgive them or not that's totally up to you kuna zile vitu mimi nimesema naweza forgive na kuna zile siwezi forgive for me cheating i think i take it so personally and i have trust issues with cheating so mimi ukisha cheat unume try kuni that's disrespectful yani hakuna kitu mbaya kama ku disrespect mtu i'd rather i keep on saying i'd rather you respect me first love will come later imagine if you respect me safin there are things you will not do in that relationship. So if I respect a man in a relationship, I'll just be like, mm -mm, my man got this. You know, like I have my man and it's an easy to because in a quagga temptations, it's it's life temptations and we are human. So kuna kitu nye mtu aneza kujani danga nile nawe ama nifanyie. But if this person that I'm with really gives me all these things, respect, the love and all the things, si lazima kwe perfect, but kuna vile at least ana try something. So kama mtu wangu ana nifanyia vitu zenye ana nifanyia, imagine I will not cheat and I will not go do all these things. Eh, una get? Wengine ato wafanyia. Kwa wengine ato ato walete dunia. Uwe mstiano. Wezi jua tunajua tunajua tu side moja of the story. Apo tunajua side moja. Udem, udem atu wezi jua ni nini. Aja ungea bado. So we only know one side of the story. But my point is, we mwenyewe, decision ni yako, kenye unataka kuwa mo. But your energy, always listen to your energy, listen to yourself, listen to your instincts. Always, it's about you. Kenye unafeel, usi why ignore. So kama ui boy at first alifeel, wacha tu ni msamehe, lakini ndani ya likuwa najua, najua ta ni kimsamehe ya nezafanya tu hivo tena. Imagine ata do hivo tena. Kama ina kuambia hivo, atafanya hivo tena. So just listen to yourself, mm. listen to your instincts, and just trust what you're feeling. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not forgiving cheating, Safin. I'm Eish. not. Mimi is a no. It's a no goes on. It's a no but goes CJ, on. that is just an example of those so many things that people have gone through that we would term as bet betrayal. And here we are talking about trusting after a betrayal of such a magnitude. Or oh, it could be not that magnitude, but kwako wewe nikitu you really feel like we um to alini betray. How do you how do you trust again? There are people who have not even moved on. Maybe they broke up, but were machined wa ku ku move on kwenda kwa relationship in Guinea based on what they've gone through in the past. People who have trust issues. You know, so how do you move on? How do you trust again? I want to go back to that story a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. I am not very sure that um, I would I would validate somebody who has a private breakup and then you come in and post it. Um, the disagreement is between the two of you. Uh -huh. So if I feel that I don't want to be in a situation, it's me who's getting out. So I don't necessarily have to throw this person under the bus. Uh -huh. um, that's a bit vindictive. And I think we have to teach people how to deal with their private pain privately. 
that if I disagree with Safin, I don't have to cancel you out. Mm. I don't have to post you. It just it didn't work. But sometimes work. some people just need opinion. <laughs> That's not opinion. Well, well, they when don't have people to talk to, but they feel like on social media. I maybe. don't think so. I don't mm -hmm. think so. Attention. We are all surrounded by people uh -huh. in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, you throw this person into the public. What you're trying to do is to literally destroy everything around them. Mm. Yet this was between you and them because they have a career, they have a family. You are bringing in so many people into that. It's like posting about somebody who's dead before the family even knows. Yeah. The impact of that thing, you know, some of the family members will be meeting that thing that their loved one is dead. They didn't even know. They're meeting in the social media. I think there's abuse as well to social media. Um, if I break up with somebody, do I have to have the world to know? And uh, was it a public thing in the first place? There are even people who are very public who break up very privately and they say, respect this space. Because if you at one point loved this person, I don't think you should want to destroy them mm -hmm. for whatever it is. The greatest punishment you can give somebody is to walk out of their life. Yeah. Because this is just as good as physical abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, if I don't like you, I don't have to fight you or beat you, I just move. I leave, so you feel the pain of my absence. Mm -hmm. So I have issues with that. Um, it's very quiet here now, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I have issues with that. Yeah. Like, let this person yeah. go away from you. They will feel the pain and the repercussions of that. And the people who know this, your family members, the people that you went to when you were doing the Aurora show, the, the church or whatever, your circle already knows that the wedding is called off. Mm. There is repercussion. But to come now and to start posting it, then throw this to everybody out there, I think that's sometimes very harsh. So we will be trying to correct one wrong with another wrong. And then now you're also throwing this person into a place where you know how social media bullying can yeah. literally take you into depression mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know whether that was the best way to handle this thing. If he said you forgive the first time, when you forgive the first time, then you treat the second one as a new thing. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh. Yes, because <laughs> when you forgive, when you forgive Safin, so it is off. Every time you forgive, it's the first time. And that is why it is a very difficult thing. Every time you forgive, yes. you count that yes. forgiveness a year time. So you're starting afresh. Even if somebody's doing the same thing and you're forgiving. You're starting afresh. Really? You're starting afresh. Yes. You know, the Bible is 77. <laughs> it says 70 times 7 in a day. So it's it's a day. <laughs> it say how many times do you forgive in a day? 70 times 7, 490. Nobody can offend you that, wait, that wait, much. Wait. Nobody can do that. <laughs> But the reason it actually says that is, is to place yourself where, you know, when you need it, you get it, mm. that forgiveness. Because I may not do this, but I'll be doing the other one. So I don't even want to get into that. I was just feeling like the posting, uh, that's bullying mm -hmm. in itself. Mm -hmm. Just leave this person's life. Break the engagement, mm -hmm. cancel the wedding. That's enough punishment mm -hmm. for this person. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go and tag them, put their photo, because you see, behaviors are formed by certain things. They're physiological reasons. There are people who go into rehab, even for things like sex addiction. Mm -hmm. There are things that form how these people reason and think. That's why you can give somebody what you think is everything and they'll still go out there because of how, when they were growing up, do they feel even the self-love or do they always feel like they need to get out there and try to prove themselves to somebody? Do, do they feel that they are worth being loved or do they feel that they need to be somebody's slave? So if they get hooked to somebody who shows them love, is that home for them? Is that home for them or they will look for an abuser in quotes somewhere else to feel that they are loved mm -hmm. you know um do they feel appreciated here or is it that at that particular point people are beginning to show attention and they do not know how to receive attention and deal with it and draw boundaries because they are voids on the inside you've got to go back into what forms the behavior of people um what has made them be the person that they are and you can pick up those things 
from very early, mm -hmm. before it even gets to, and, and you know, Bobby was talking about that, before it even gets to the place where they're cheating on you, you can pick up these things, you can pick up the low self-esteem, you can mm -hmm. pick up the fact that this person cannot uh, deal with attention from anybody else. Mm -hmm. You can pick up that they are very chatty with everybody else. You can see those needs that they have and you can tell, I'm not sure I will meet these needs that this person has. Yeah. This one has deep psychological issues, probably they need therapy, they need a counselor, they need somebody to walk with them. Sometimes we ignore these things thinking that we will fill those voids. Mm -hmm. And then now we will blame this person who may be sick Yes. for being sick. Mm -hmm. It's just like an alcoholic. Um, and you decide, well, I'm going to get him out of it. And then this person keeps on struggling with this bottle and then you keep fighting them. Why are you not stopping this? Why are you not stopping this? Sometimes they need a rehab. Sometimes they need some other intervention around it. I think we sometimes do not look at this behavior as things that also may need intervention. Mm. There are people who are addicted even to sites, you know, and no matter what you tell them, they really can't get out. That's their drug. And they may need some yeah. other help from out there. So as we talk about the person that needs to walk, we also need to talk about the person who's being walked away from so that they will not be this person again to somebody else. Yeah. Do they need help? You leave them a better person. <laughs> yes. Mm. Do they need help? Um, that's why I thought the bullying would not be very okay. necessary. <clears throat> Punish them with your absence and then leave them. I tell you, nobody wants a heartbreak. Even the one who is leaving, <laughs> does, it's not easy. Yeah. It's Ask anybody who's divorced, they'll tell you, even the one who signed the papers first, they feel the pain because you've invested time, you've invested yeah. emotions, you put in this. But we also need to know how to go apart in a way that does not demean the other person. So you're talking about the element of trust after betrayal. Um, it has to be talked about. The pain has to be talked about, like you can't push it under the carpet. Uh, you've got to talk about it. You hurt me when you did this. This is how I felt. This is what I saw. This is where I am at right now. And then I've said, of course, that with forgiveness, you push that aside. But don't rush the forgiveness. If you're not feeling like you're ready to keep talking about where you feel so that by the time you say I've forgiven you, it is a genuine thing. You're not saying it because it is expected. Mm -hmm. If you're still feeling the pain, it's like if you have an injury, you don't fake it. You still have the injury, you mm -hmm. still have the pain, so until you're going through until it heals. Mm -hmm. You may have to put it under a cast, whatever it is. So sometimes you're gonna put your heart under a cast. <clears throat> if it means that you need to have separation for a while, if it means that you need to involve some other people to have this conversation with you, you do it, you have to take time and process. But again, it comes back to truth, Safin, that even as we are talking about this thing, how much truth is on the table? Mm. Because if you hurt me and you say you didn't, then how are we going to go into the place of forgiveness? Yeah. If you hurt me and you're not telling me the truth about where you are coming from, <laughs> um, the respect that QT is talking about will not even be there. Respect is not fear. Yes. Respect is not fear. Lying to somebody is disrespect. Mm. It is disrespect mm. that you have not valued them enough to see that you need to give them the truth. So you are trying to play their minds by telling them something that you think is palatable at that particular point. So there has got to be the element of, okay, this is where we are at. I am hurt. Mm -hmm. Could you please tell me why? And is this going to happen again? Do you think it will happen again? It is important for the other person to actually speak the truth and say, you know, I think I've been struggling with this for a long time. And whenever there are these circumstances, I think I find myself doing this. I don't know how to say no to when a guy, you know, DMs me. I don't know how to say no when they give me gifts. You'd rather speak the <laughs> truth. Yes, yeah. Safin. You'd rather speak that thing over there. <clears throat> so this person yes, makes truth <clears throat> that you you, no, listen, you need to keep for this. You, you see, this is why. <laughs> this is why we've actually killed relationships because we've made relationships become very brutal. Yeah. <laughs> because part of relationship is supposed to be friendship. Yes. So at this particular point, there is the friend that you have that even if you break up as a couple, there was a friend mm. in here. They need to be able to lean towards you, even with their struggles. Mm. And the reason why we are having all these things cracking is because we are hiding so much in relationships. Mm. The reason we are hiding stuff is because 
we have QT, who is a, this, I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is a no. So the moment so I'm thinking. Yeah, that this relationship will, will, will this die. will collapse this relationship. I will tell you lies. Then you lie for, to protect the <laughs> to relationship. To protect it. For the sake of the relationship. By the time she discovers it's 10 years, <laughs> then she's like, my goodness, for 10 years he's been doing this. <laughs> and the person is doing it and they're very guilty. <laughs> as well they're very guilty because whenever you lie you also feel guilty yeah. so they'll be doing this and they're very guilty and then she'll be suspicious and so even within the 10 years you've not really had a relationship yeah it would even be better to come in and say you know i've had this struggle i've had this struggle uh, this is what happened sometimes the other person may actually pick up and say you know this is this is trauma from this place you never really dealt with your former heartbreak you never really dealt with this over here this is coming from how you know your father treated you this is coming from how your mother was or something and then they make <coughs> informed judgment so that they have closure as well because the thing that comes to people the most when they feel hurt is they think they are not good enough. Mm -hmm. They begin to think, is it because I am not this, I'm not this, I'm not looking good, I'm not strong, I'm not this. So you'll find people doing all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. trying to now, even when the relationship breaks, you'll find a girl going to the gym to lose weight mm -hmm. because they think that is what made the man mm -hmm. go out. So it leaves them at a place where they are self-inflicting. So it is good to have the conversation so that you also have closure. Whether you will decide to stay with them or not, that is a whole different conversation. Gotcha. But at least there will be healing beginning for you and even for them to be able to acknowledge that. You see, when that fear is broken and the shame is broken that I can actually tell you, uh, I've struggled with this. There's a freedom that comes. Mm -hmm with that, that now I'm able to talk to Safina about this. Yeah, okay. And then I'll sit there and wait. Okay, well, whatever decision she will make, it's fine. Yeah. But the thing is off my You've chest. acknowledged yes. that you have, you, ha you have an issue. So for me, that's a beginning point. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's good. And one thing I like about that is that you need to tell that person that you feel hurt you what they did yeah. that hurt you. Mm. Even if you leave them, you leave them at a better place of knowing that this is actually a behavior that I need to work on. So that in the event they move to, on to another relationship, they move on better people, mm. you know, making better decisions. Wale wakupotea tu nazimia mtu simu, ata uja muambia nini alifanya. You just left, uli left group. I think it's not a good thing. Yeah. We're just about to wind up this conversation. I want to... Um, a final, uh, you know, uh, thought on, on the discussion we've had this particular morning. Moving on past a betrayal of this particular, you know, manner, what I'm getting from all we're sharing, that it has to start from that journey of self-healing, you know, you acknowledging that you really want to walk this journey so that you don't portray that negative energy to the next person you're going to meet. I just want you to pick up from there. That's your area of, you know, <laughs> Love the internet. <laughs> Choose yourself <laughs> as we close this down. Something I've been learning of late is, uh, it's something I've said here a lot, but let me just repeat it. <coughs> Before you think about what am I getting, <coughs> in love, you have to, it starts from what am I giving? And for you to give, you have to be full, meaning you have to feel yourself, not to wait for people to come and feel you and to compliment you when you're tweet and a better half, I must genuinely mm. see, <laughs> uko complete when you uko as yourself. <laughs> you have to feel yourself so that you're able to give. And then when you start giving, you start receiving. It's just like a domino effect. Mm -hmm. So whether it's in trust, in love, in forgiveness, and all throughout these now the lesson I've been learning of late is that you really need grace. You need, you need a lot of grace, a lot of kindness, a lot of patience, a lot of understanding, because people will test you. The people you love, the people who love you, they will test you, they will, they will do things you don't like, they will make decisions you didn't agree on, they will wake up one day and they've made their mind up about something else. Someone will wake up and they don't love you anymore. You know, like you, you, Things happen, life happens, mm -hmm. uh, people go through things, people are, like, people just go through things. Now, quite life, kill I'm talking about So, the only way you can always feel complete is by feeling yourself and loving yourself. Right. Then now you're able to pour into others. na grace na kindness, that's how you're able to hold space for other people. That's how you're able to take a step back and before you decide to be vindictive or vengeful or 
tit for tat or angry, bitter, or even the ghosting, silent treatment, mm -hmm. leaving people without communicating your emotions. <clears throat> you're going to be able to have more patience to hold space for people to understand. And don't get me wrong, this doesn't mean you have to stay in the situation at it just because you understand them or you get where they're coming from. It just informs your decisions. So please, please, please choose yourself and love yourself and trust yourself so that you're able to give all, right. all these feelings to the next person. Great, cutie. Have you changed your mind a little bit? <laughs> the trust issue. Um, <laughs> you know what? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that over not here. Today. Not today. <laughs> over here, we're not doing that. But what I'd say is that life is a risk. In everything that you mm. do, you need to take a risk in life. So even the relationship, I keep on saying, it's a risk you're taking. So come on in here. There's no 50-50, Safin. Mm. There's no gray area. Come on, you a relationship. You need to risk it. You need to trust 100. You need to love 100. You need, you need to do all those things. Because why are you getting in this relationship in the first place? Mm. So, come on, you're ready. to leave ready. Take your time to heal. Take time to love yourself and do all these things. So that when you get get to the relationship, you're already ready and you're ready to take a risk. And always give. If you your relationship, imagine give it like a business. Ama ni vile unendaga, utafta job. Ukianza yo job ujuagi zile nguri utapata uko. Sasa ukisha ingia ndo unendaga unasema, this is not what I signed up for. Misi kusema hivi, lakini contract ilisema hivi, maybe you just didn't read, you know. You are too excited. You're too excited about it. So at a relationship, tuko too excited, we are too in love. We don't really, but mina sema tu ni risk. It's okay to be in love. It's okay to give yourself to someone. Imagine it's okay. Yeah, yeah kiku mess. Imagine it's, it's up to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Yake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, usha you deeper. Uh, I like you know, kama kama umeopenda, usha we deep. Hiyo ni yake. Yeye mwenyewe ndo na issues. Actually see wewe uko na issues. Ni hizo traumas si uongelea kwa hapa kwa show. Tunasema maybe huyo mtu ako na trauma zake, ako na issues zake, ame grow up in a certain environment na hajawahi heal because nilisema kama gava ime kutrust imekupatia ID uko 18 years. Hizo vitu za kusema trauma you need to heal. Safin, yeah. you need to heal it's your responsibility yeah. to actually go for that help that you need come you need to go for counseling mentorship whatever it is you need to heal all so right. kingia kwa relationship ingia 100 yeah. give it your all kikikuramba <laughs> we tulia tu utapata mwanako we move on utapata mwanako penda mtu ajui jemi ajui nini yako nayo ni nini yako na it is lost nini amepoteza ajui nini amepoteza well uh, i think you know uh, Kitty talked about this, and, and it's like business again. You know, you invest money that you're willing to lose. Yes. And the moment you put in this as your capital, you stop thinking about it. Uh, if it comes back, well and good. If it never comes back, it's a lesson that you have learned. You'll go back into business again. Uh, losing one business does not mean you're not called to do business. It doesn't mean that you're a bad business person. You may have made bad business decisions. You may have invested in the wrong thing, but you get to learn lessons. Nobody started and just succeeded. So if you've invested love in a place, then it did not work. It doesn't mean that you're not cut out for love. It doesn't mean this is how everybody else is. Because you see, when you go through social media streets, you'll find one person who was hurt by one <coughs> lady yeah. now thinks women are like this. Or one lady who is hurt by a man, it will be like men are like this. Then attracts all the people who have been hurt by men and then they come into that place and begin to form this. Those also raise issues in relationships because now a girl who is coming up getting into a fast relationship has an opinion that is already formed that men are like this or a man will be feeling women are like this they begin from a place of a lot of suspicion so go into it um, consciously and know that you will as bobby said be tested in every way mm -hmm. and it's not just the cheating there are things that will happen to you in relationships that <coughs> might literally shatter you. Uh, mm. There are people who will never cheat on you, but they literally Worst send things. you into a coma. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> they literally chilling. send you into a coma. <laughs> so uh, whichever way it is, anything that you find that is not sitting well with you, um, address it, find ways uh, to deal with it, find help, get other people to come on board. If you feel that's not going to work for you, then you walk out peacefully. You don't have to, again, bully the other person. Mm. All right, there is a gentleman here. His name is Kimutai Kirui. He says I should say hi to Hello. all of you. No. <laughs> hi, Kimutai. He really appreciates right. the show always watching. And he says, uh, say hi to the panel. Forgiveness 
uh, is a start over. That is the catch word. Forgiveness is the final form of love. And he goes ahead to say in quotes, I forgive myself and set myself free. That is what you should actually tell yourself. Forgiveness is uh, about me, not the other person. Always know people who don't forgive need therapy. They have trust issues. They actually, and I won't use that word, um, you know, they, I would say, they, let, me, let me use collection is a safer term of, of bitterness. You know, mm -hmm. like they carry a lot of bitterness in their hearts. But thank you for sharing your, your thoughts with us as well. And for all of you who took time to watch the program and for the lovely panel that I am having this mm -hmm. morning, yeah? The full house is here this <coughs> particular morning. We do this again next Tuesday, but remember, keep watching Citizen TV. We are following up quite a number of stories for you today. Uh, we, we know that uh, our President William Ruto today is supposed to be assenting to the affordable housing bill. This is going to pave way for Yes, the return of the deduction of the housing levy. It is a conversation that, of course, will elicit mixed reactions and will stay on top of that for you as we give you what uh, will be said after this. It's a story we are waiting for and we should be bringing it your way anytime from now. So keep it Citizen TV. My name is Safina Chengoma. Have a lovely day ahead.